We are back with the Plunder Panda. 1030. Let's go. Who are we getting for the next one? Good old E4, E5. Always me. No, it's always me, not me. Okay, get the knight out or check them pawns. Nice. We love pawn. Progono, don't tell me. I thought he loved the D, but no loving. So get the juicer out. Pony and the juicers are happy. Nice. Are we going to get the good old fried liver? No. I guess it's bad, but uh, it's garbage. Let's get the knight out, man. He was too afraid of the fried liver. I knew it. Bro, he was so, so afraid of the fried liver. He chickened it out and put the pawn there. I almost wanted to go piano, but I guess uh, too late. I'll just get the D out, get the juicer out, get them ponies out and just take a chill pill. I'm going to cook this kid up. <laughs> now I can castle, but I don't really want to castle. I can go here and ask him to trade, even though it doubles the pawn. It's not that bad of an idea, because if I castle, the F file would be open for the rook. I'm going to play pawn here, kind of a copycat. Just prevents the knight from hopping. It's also kind of like a pass. I don't know. Feels like I'm a chicken, but... Sure, I just got the piece out, developed and done my own thing. But I guess it is what it is. The problem with moves like this is, it's not bad. It just doesn't do anything. And I'm not good enough to punish him for that. Like, I can just develop the pieces less. It's pure, sure symmetry. Let's get the guy out. We're gonna trade, we're gonna be happy. Okay, he goes back. We'll put the queen here because I don't want really short castle. Because if he goes short, we are ready, ready, ready to attack. Attack this kitty or punch him right in the face. Okay, bro pins the knight. Not a problem. I guess he really, really did not want to trade. So I guess we can continue by just castling. You might say he might have the push because now this is pinned, but uh, not that afraid. And also castle before move 10. This is what they say. So I think we should. He did not castle. It's a bit annoying because I want to attack. And if he doesn't castle, I feel like he'll go bishop somewhere and he'll also copy it out. Mm, this is annoying. I want to go g5, g4, ask to take pin win, but this pin is Kinda annoying, not gonna lie. Can we pin him back? But that's too symmetry for us. Too much symmetry. We in the copycat. But we'll go g5. I mean g4. Idea simple. Get g. Ask him to take and pin this guy out. If he goes here, I don't really want to take. I can go back and take it. Yeah, it's the copycat. Hmm. But the copycat is going crazy. Can I let him take? No, I have to take this way. Even though I take this way, it opens up the A file. It's not as bad as it looks. It's fine. Not the worst double in the world. He might try to get D5 one day because this pin is more annoying than I thought it was. Anyways, 1000 is a tricky lead, man. We no longer in 100 ELO. That's not good. And sadly, I never have D4. Because this pawn becomes loose and the bishop is this guy. So we always lose this guy. That's, uh, oh, bro, he's never interested in castling. Oh, he's setting up them cheap tactics. He want to hop the pony here. Say, take the pony and let the queen die. It's a one move tactic. We don't need to, but we can just go there. Cover that square by the king. There was no need for it. Because we don't need to take the knight. Oh, he got the D out. Oh, bro is cooking some uh, interesting, interesting stuff. Not gonna lie, because after takes, he can take both ways and there's actual pressure on our knight. Not gonna lie. And this is also a problem. So in some way, we actually got to take. So the 1k is kind of cracked up. We might get rolled. First L incoming. Mm -hmm. The question is, which way is the way? 
We don't have bishop here to save this. So this knight is uh, actually under tremendous pressure. Technically, I can take it. So it's not as good as I thought. Because after takes, I can take. And if he takes, I can take the queen, which is kind of good. So even though I liked it at initial, it wasn't as good. Okay. Bro castle. I mean, this pawn is dead. So castle makes sense. No rush. I can never take pawns like this because he always has moves like pawn push uh, to trap my guy out. So never take these kind of pawns or at least double, triple, quadruple check. I want to continue with my g5 business because I do really like the pin. And then maybe I can put the rook here and pressure this guy out. Mm. Or do we have some, uh, some knight here into counter pinning? This pin is not that good because he can just go away and unpin himself. So not sure how much I buy into that. Also, when he takes here, it opens up the edge file for the rook. So not sure. Maybe I just go queen here. Just get away from the pin messiness, you know. Just avoid the mess. Kind of a prophylactic. Oh, bro, we in the big boy league talking out about prophylaxis. Prevention is better than cure and whatnot. I guess we can take because he might have been something here. We are actually in the big boy league. Okay, the bishop is looking nice. Knight is also looking nice. He can take. We don't really mind it. Our idea of g5 to pin even never actually came. That's sad. We can never take. We get trapped. It's annoying. Where does this guy go? I can go back offer a trade, but then this square becomes a home for the knight. Hmm, it's tricky. Let's get this knight here, here, somewhere. I kind of like bishop here also. Just opens the queen to attack this pawn. But I'll go this way, right? Because this bishop is kind of looking good. Not gonna lie, he is looking Ready, I don't know. We attack this, we offer a juicer trade. He can take and put the knight here and have a happy life. So, bro, thousand rated people are tricky. No wonder they say thousand on chess.com is like three thousand on Lee Chess. He is struggling. He got more time than us. Position is pleasant. Now, definitely not the rook because rooks are happy connected. Question is queen or knight? I don't mind queen, but then the queen was attacking the pawn. I don't mind knight, but I guess knight is better because maybe the knight can go here or here. Probably queen takes was also fine, but I guess I want a queen there and a knight there. So he can bully us, but we will go to the center. And uh, maybe double on the E and try to pressure it out. But this pawn can be easily defended. So I'm not sure how much pressure we can apply. Anyways, what is going on? He got the queen. Oh, he did he blunder. That was the only thing we had. He's going for some play here, which I don't see it. And now nobody protects the tiny pawn. Bye bye, Mr. Pawn. The queen betrayed you. Bro said, let the pawn die. We got to chop. We got to chop. Free candy is the best candy. Nice. Yeah, queen in taxes, but the rook is there. So no worry. We get the pawn. Queen in the center looking there. Attacking Mr. Knight. Attacking Mr. Pawn. The queen is so happy. Also, we got some ideas like check into double attack into some pawns there. So pressure, pressure, pressure everywhere. Rook kicked us. No problem. I can go here, I can go there, I can come back. I can offer a queen trade, but I don't really wanna. Uh, let's just go queen here, you know. Get the check. That way I don't waste any time. It's like I, gain a, I play two moves in one move. And then I can put the rook here because I want to, you know, I forgot the rule. What was the rule? Rooks belong on open file. A file is open, but uh, the rook can't ever go there. So the only other open file is the E file. You might say, wait, rook here, attack. 
See, when the king is stuck like that with three dummies next to him, we got some back rank ideas. Okay, he's on the counter attack. That's kind of decent. Attack the queen. Attack her from the corner. I almost want to go there. That way I attack the queen and I attack the pawn. And if he takes, the rook on the seventh heaven is like uh, seven points. Not even five. And I don't mind trading this for this. So that's a reasonable idea. The problem might be he might just go away and not take it. I mean, our queen is under attack. So that feels like a two in one move. We can save the queen and then maybe later worry about this pawn. So that seems uh, logical. We could have gone back, but then uh, offense is the defense. That's what they say. So don't be a chicken. Be a big, big fat kid and just uh, uh, throw away the other kid or something. If he trades, we are happy. We get rook in the seventh heaven. We attack this, we attack this and we are happy. The only problem is queen back because then he will look at this pawn. Wait, I can just take the pawn, bro. We so dumb. We are so dumb. The entire plan of queen here was to grab the cookie and we forgot. Let's take the cookie and go home, right? I don't think there's any crazy sacrifice he's cooking it up because we got all the army next to the king. So we should not be afraid, but I'm still a bit afraid. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It looks interesting. I guess we can move knight here to block it out or just munch on them pawns. Munch on them pawns. Tasty pawns for me. Let's go. We got the pawn. If he takes here, we can get one more pawn. And he cannot take there because the queen from there will save our tiny pawn. That works. Now we are two pawns up. And if he does any random move, we can be three pawns up. Also, we can look for the rooked. For the seventh heaven. Make the dream come true. Seventh heaven into attack. Bro, what is this? Okay, he attacks this, but more importantly, he defends this. So it does make some sense. But the problem is we just can save this guy. Do we got some nice tactics like uh, we don't have rook here. I want to develop this knight, but does nothing. And if I go rook here, we never win this because it's protected. I really want to save this pawn, and I don't want to go rook here to save it. Mm, it's annoying. Okay, we can go knight here looking for some play. That way he takes this, we take this, and it's somewhat better, but this pawn is always under attack. Let's go rook here, you know. It does the job, you know. We don't go passive. We ready to double on the e-file. We save this pawn and... At least it's active. Hmm? Bro went here attacking the queen. Now the queen does not protect the pawn. We can just uh, get fat. That's three candies for the queen. Yes, three good, good candies. Nice. Diabetes incoming. Also, we double attack the knight. And if the knight moves away, we can happily trade. Now he defended it. We can apply even more pressure. Triple it up. One, two, three kids bullying single pony. Nice. Bully him out. And I think we have a pin win angles from all the sides. Knight cannot move because the rook cries. So how do we make him move? Oh, he's done. Get this guy out. I can get it from this way or that way. But if I go from that way, the rook will no longer attack the knight. So this is the way we attack Mr. Rookie. The rookie cries, so the knight cries. Knight will die and we'll just win. And uh, if he tries for some crazy knight here, disco attack, there's a rook. That's going to fall off. So we have the typical uh, cross pin. What is this? Crisscross applesauce pin or something they call it these days. So, I think it might be a good time to press the good old resign button. But, we have only two minutes on the cuckoo clock. So, he can try to flag it. But the problem is, position is just crumbling. Let's go plus eight for us. Yeah, so, what was going on? I didn't really like this h6 business. 
and I don't think uh, fish would hate it. It might be inaccuracy or whatever, but won't be D4 is the way apparently. Huh. Also, castle is suggested by the fish. D4 makes sense because uh, you're kind of getting the queen into the play. Uh, knight c3, is it that bad? Yeah, fish is not a fan of knight c3. I feel like it's good, but it doesn't uh, pressure blackout. So maybe d4 is a better way to punish him. Okay, he got the knight out. Doesn't make any problem. Now castle, we went again d4. Huh. I guess just not my style. I'm not uh, as active of a player. So because we just focus on the basics, you know. But we didn't get anything out of it. That's the problem. Yeah, castle is h3. He was maybe a bit of a I don't know what to do kind of a move. And we got the bishop out and he was fine. Apparently fish likes this, but uh, it's about equal. I don't buy it. And now what was going on? Castle? Yeah, bishop if I was something I had no idea. A3 was suggested. Triple O was suggested. We went triple O. Bro, got the queen out here. Did we have anything crazy? Again, A3. Yeah, G4 was not the fish move. Apparently bishop B6 and black is significantly on the happier side, which he played. And then uh, bishop takes was suggested. We went back. How bad this is. Yeah, d5 is, was annoying. I told you d5 was annoying. He took. We took. And then he went for knight b4, which was maybe a bit too much. d5 was definitely the way. Fish really wants the d5. And I think uh, here, queen e2 and we live. So our decision. Oh, we went king b1. Yeah, that makes more sense. Just get away from the pin win. We chose the other way, which was apparently not the way, but it's still fine. Good. It's not the best. He did the D. I don't think it was. Oh, we had knight takes pawn. Oh, we missed it. I took with the pawn, which is uh, not the best. Apparently knight takes was better because uh, he can't take this way. Which is crazy because we just take here, attack, and we're full active in the house. And if he takes this way, we can take back. And uh, he can never take back because we got the pin and we're kind of flowing. So I took with the pawn, which was apparently not the correct way. And then he castles, which makes total sense. Now, bishop a7, which I said was pure garbage, is apparently our choice. Okay, fish uh, went down. Initially, we wanted the bishop takes pawn. I went queen away, which... I don't think Fishy is a big fan of it. I guess I was afraid of the pin a bit too much. Bro took on d5. Bro took on d5. Uh, he took on d5 in his uh, equality. And then uh, d4 was the need. We went a bishop back. A bit of a chicken idea. He took. And now queen, rook, knight. All were potato, tomato, onion kind of a thing. He took back. He went queen b4, fine. No, that was a blunder, bro. What are we saying? We just got a freebie. And then he went uh, fancy. He could have gone f5. He gave a check. He got the rook on the open file. Queen f7 is suggested. Yeah, makes sense. Knight here. Now, queen e7 is the choice. We are the choice of the fish. Fish loves us. Now, we just munch on the pawn. Just munch on the pawn. He takes. Oh, yeah, queen. Now, rook e3 is actually suggested. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. Fish is a fan of knight d4, which was one of my candidate moves to attack this. And the other one is uh, rook e3. I don't like knight here because I thought uh, he could take here. And apparently, oh, fish does not want to take here. But fish is cooking some rook h1 into moving this knight. And when the knight does not attack this guy, then you can take here. Ah, that's some uh, some nice uh, top-notch cooking by the fish. This is why fish is the master chef. But you went rook here, which was a uh, uh, top three fishy choices. Ooh, that's good. And now he just plundered the pawn and it was plus five and we were cruising, cruising. Rook here to save it. We apply pressure on the PP. That's what the Gotham says or something. Put pressure on the PP or something. We doubled it up. Was that the bet choice? That was the bet choice. Apparently it's a great move. Uh, it was like more like a uh, walking, but okay. And now knight c4 was the choice. Go there, attack this guy out. Remove the defender. Once the defender is dying, the kid got to cry. 
let's go we the best we the best next one double white that is the way to be the panda man e4 we get plus eight we hit one zero four something let's take the center whenever he doesn't push any of these pawns we just uh, take the good boy center or the big boy center i don't know some kind of center now this is the tricky apparently it's the nimzo witch defense i don't even know what that means if i take i think he's happy because he can take back with the queen and attack this out which is maybe what he wants so we'll push it that way we keep the center close we gain control of this square so the knight cannot hop in and i don't think f6 is ever a way because it kind of weakens out this diagonal okay get the bishop out look at this now i'm thinking do i go knight here or do i push to connect them all i do like connect four yeah because knight here kind of tempts knight here yeah i will go c3 just to prevent this takes is never a problem the rook is always there okay he connected it out is his bishop good yeah i think he's good if the bishop was trapped here in typical french caro canish business it would have been bad can i trap this guy like some kind of g h h i don't think so he always has this also he can always take the knight so trapping this would be a bit of a miracle work so we're just gonna be nice and offer him a bishop trade i don't think fish would be a fan of it could have got the knight on and then just developed maybe that was the way i don't know bro we ain't smart we got the good center we ready to hop the knight this way or this way i kind of like this way more that way we can castle and get the typical typical f4 f5 takes open up the f yeah he's gonna go bishop here knight here castle or something so let's put the knight here kind of preparing f4 f5 not not sure if we are actually gonna do it oh he got the knight here we can technically pin it we will get kicked but i don't mind the pin like we never win it but why go there when you can uh, pin it if he pushes kind of whatever okay he's ready to castle Mm -hmm. I think the typical, typical way to counter what do they call the fiend shadow bishop is to get a bishop and a queen battery and then push h, h, take bishop here. But the problem is if I go there, this knight becomes depressing. And if I go there, he has knight here into some counterplay. Can we go there? Let the knight cry? Uh, let the knight cry i mean knights are garbage anyways right no no we love the pony he can go this way you know he can uh, he can find his uh, happiness somewhere else so if he castles we are ready right or do we wait hmm. do we go right now or do we go this way we have two choices hmm. i like h4 because uh, if i go bishop here he might have knight here we can uh, lose the pin so let's get h5 and uh, open up the rookie and we're ready our king is in the center so that's the good thing whenever you're attacking on the flanks if the center is closed like this your king can actually chill in the center imagine these pawns were not there he would just go coin here and uh, fry this kid out okay now the knight is ready but he's going to push if he ever ever takes it that's a disaster that's a free invitation to the buffet for the rookie oh rook is getting chubby tonight he's gonna be the chubbiest rook okay knight here defends this covers this we can just push this pawn and kick this guy back home which is which is like why did you even come there nobody invited you to the party go back and now we want to attack this guy out we can do it this way or this way to double attack he might have some kind of f uh, so i like this one better than compared to this way because this way we only attack there but this way not only we attack there if we feel like we can swing to the h file and double on the edge hmm. 
he has knight here so got to be careful but this is why this is better right because then we can go here and actually actually win uh, the pawn out so he has two choices either f or knight here or knight here just uh, blocks out the business i don't think we need to sacrifice and go full uh, uh, crazy madman mode let's just keep it simple double on the h5 the sad thing about this battery is i would like rook behind the queen that way queen takes pawn was a mate but this way it's not even a check yeah, ideally queen should be in the front. That's why they say ladies first, not the rookie first. Uh, so battery is a bit strange. Maybe I should have gone rook here and then queen here. Not sure if it was too slow. Yeah, not sure. Okay, he, he's losing it. Yeah, I think we should have gone bishop f6. I don't know somehow kind of trapped the king out maybe we had other choices i think there was a better choice than bishop f6 just looks good avoid this yeah fish would scream at us that we missed out the way bishop f6 looks better the more i look at it we'll see later but now the queen can join in to defend and if I take, he takes, he takes, he takes, he lives. I can't take here and let the bishop die because we just peace down. I'm kind of sad, not going to lie. Yeah, this uh, was maybe a bit rushed. Now he gets count to play on the F file. Oh man, we are not the best attackers. So I'm got to take because we can't let him take back. Bishop takes, takes, rook takes, and the queen defends from this side. Mm. Yeah, also now the center is no longer close, so this king is in a bit of a pickle. We never win the pawn. Okay, do we have f4? Bro, I think it's about time we castle this kid out. I think we missed out in golden opportunity. He, if he doubles the rook on the f file to attack, luckily you can go f3 to save it. So we don't lose this guy. He might go knight here, but luckily it's covered. Mm. It's, it's getting out of hand. We saved the pawn. Knight here is tradable. Okay, we got to castle and put the rook on the edge. Triple battery, even though it doesn't win us anything. He has rook here always to save it. I think black is fine he's under pressure but he's fine okay like even if we triple it up he's just uh, there we need some kind of f4 f5 take take to open up the g file but i don't know uh he's trying to break somewhere i can play h3 to prevent this but uh, let's focus focus on the attack how do we remove this rook so that i can take it if I push, wait, it's good, but not good enough. I see his rook here. That square is covered, but this one's empty. Can we push knight here into some knight here? Probably not. If I try this, hoping to get something, he can just uh, trade it out. And he's kind of fine, which is never fine. Man, these thousand rated chess.com players are tricky. Okay, we can go rook here. That way one day, oh, I can see some tactics. This way, if I take here and if he takes the pawn, queen here could be the mate we need. So all we need for that to happen, we got to take back. Yeah, let's take with the pawn. That way this is there. And I think knight is a, crazy crazy defender the queen is going to take ages and it's not even coming because there's a pressure there so we should not fear for his life now there is a possibility where we simply oh he kind of disconnected uh, this out we can just take the pawn 
and there's no checking business that's just a free pawn i mean doesn't win us anything except a pawn but pawn spawn like the knight covers this which is so good for the king just uh, lets him breathe we never have to check trade is just trade back yeah this knight is actually the champion maybe goes queen here looking for a pawn but his play is so slow okay he went knight here uh connecting this out oh, do we have rook check oh ah uh, he's in trouble he is completely cooked because knight takes we can take back with the queen and it's a dead king if he gets out queen here's the mate yeah this knight here turned out to be a disaster they said do this we got to look at the fish because i feel like we butchered the attack yeah ggs ggs plus eight plus eight 46 46 so we got the e that makes sense he put the knight out whatever we got the d out love it d5 is the fishy choice now e5 is the way to squeeze the kitty he does some bishop here now i didn't know fish wants c3 knight f3 and all that c3 makes sense he got the pawn out now i don't think bishop likes it yeah bishop he is i guess his top three but not the way this might be some book move but uh, i don't know any books the only books i read is robin hood or whatever the piggy red riding hood business okay we took he took g6 is definitely not the way right yeah g6 felt a bit odd and then we just got the knight out fish wants knight on f3 I mean, makes sense, but it doesn't make a whole difference. And then now we can win for the pin win, which is normal, nothing crazy. Like, there's no direct threat. And now here we went crazy. Fish is like, get them knights out, castle, or do something. H3 suggested, wait, win queen here. I thought we went H4. It was a bit of a cheap attack, you can say it. Castle is a bit risky. And again, queen F4 is suggested. We went H, we went boom oh fish wants some f6 he's like give some uh, breathing space that's never happening oh we got kind of stuck Wait, let me let me fix it oh my mid trippy trippy computer queen here now queen f4 was the choice yeah this queen was a bit weird here when h5 can't be that bad apparently it was a bit bad in accuracy as the fishy says it f6 is suggested he took which was plus five bishop f6 is the way i knew it bro bishop f6 is plus five and everything is one bishop f6 just and it just keeps him stuck queen here is coming and if he takes he's just so stuck like oh we also have queen f6 into g7 bro bishop f6 was the way that was the master class in attacking and it turned out to be a tomato class okay we took with the rook but it looked good but it wasn't I guess this is why we not the GM. He went here. Now we again bishop f6, bishop f6. We went g4, which is second choice, not bad. Again bishop f6, bishop f6 is like plus eight. What were we cooking with this queen business? It's still plus two. It's an in inaccuracy apparently. Bishop f6 is the way. Bishop f6 is plus three. Queen h3 is garbage. From plus uh, five, we go to nothing f6 and apparently we are still fine he took we took and uh, what was the bishop f6 business let's take a look so instead of uh, our queen here bishop f6 is a simple right yeah kind of traps the king yeah uh, what is the fishy doing doing take it out take it out oh i think we have some crazy tactics like let's say a6 we can sacrifice the rook I mean, apparently queen here, queen here is uh, the way, but technically we can sacrifice the rook also. It's a slower way, but uh, you get the same purpose. Anyways, what did we do? Uh, we put the queen on h3, which was uh, bad. He went f6. Apparently we were good. We took, he took. And fish does not want to trade them juicer yeah this is beyond me he wants to go f4 looks risky we talk which kind of breaks the principle whenever you're attacking you should not trade your attackers 
so it does make sense logically that we should not have but i could not uh cf4 so we went this normal way you know he got the rooks out we castled again f4 is the way f3 uh, oh i'm not a fan of f3 what is f4 i thought f4 was a free pawn no knight f4 rook takes what is fishy even cooking apparently castle and just let the pawn die just play for open files. So we went f3 and apparently it was bad due to some crazy e5 break. And it opens up the e file and the d and makes sense, but uh, beyond my level. So we went f3 just to save the pawn. He went rook, uh, he went to rook f7, which was not the best. Yes, we castle, got the king out, and then he went for b5, which made so much sense. Attack g5 was suggested but you put rook here which is top three b4 makes sense now we didn't know what to do apparently g5 was the way f4 was the way to pressure it out we went rook here which is uh, a mistake mistake took took and now what is the play e5 yeah the only way for counter play for black is to get e5 kind of hops the knight and breaks this out makes sense when you know the way but it's a bit tricky to come up during the game he went knight here which was a disaster he just lost the pawn and it just crumbled now the king had to run and knight here is just uh, the goody goody made into nice let's find the next key to beat it up what is this ronaldo e4 e5 for us the good good Ronaldo goes for the D. I think he wants to bring the queen out early. They love it, man. Bring the queen out with C3. Okay. This is some uh, gambit business where I take here. He'll probably get the bishop out. And if I take here, he'll get the other bishop out. So some very cheesy, cheesy business. So technically, I should not take the pawn. And I should focus on developing the pieces. If I get the knight out, he can look to push and be annoying. So, the best thing I can think, he got the D out. I can also get the D out. And that way, it's kind of a symmetry. Both the bishops are out like his. And we are fine-ish. I kind of like it, you know. Whenever in doubt, just copy the kitty. You know, he's smart. We'll copy him and we'll be smarter than him. So if he takes, we can take back. If he takes, we can take with the queen and we're fine. Okay, he pushed it. Now the problem is, are we pawn up? We're pawn up. If he goes somewhere like knight here, he can take back and have this annoying, annoying center looking at this and my knight cannot go out. Now I'm kind of tempted to take there. Not sure if that was the theory or not because... I don't know any openings, but that's okay. So we'll take here because it just feels right. Even though it gives him the free knight development into attack. Hmm. I don't want to give him the pawn for free. Let's just say that. The big question is after knight here, queen and knight attack my pawn. I can pawn push to save it, but another rule, never push these pawns. Too many pawn moves. He played the E, played the D, took there, took there. Five moves of pure, sure pawn madness. Don't be a pawn addict. Cut down on the pawns. Okay, now I can go bishop here to pin this guy so that he can't take. And uh, that just a uh, multi-purpose move. That's what they say, right? We develop and we pin. We don't win. Okay. Uh, now the queen no longer attacks the pawn even though he's unpinned we don't really need to take it i can just uh, get the knight out develop you know develop them pieces i could have pushed it and kicked the guy away like push he goes somewhere and we can trade uh but no need just develop right yeah get the other knight out nice we're solid one pawn up and the time is pretty slow but it's okay as long as we don't lose in the first 10 moves, we are good. Okay, he pinned us. Not a problem. We're going to castle anyways. We castle and we are completely fine. He castles, he's fine. We can pin him. 
that's kind of good i always like uh pin win angles whenever i get a chance pin it maybe we can hop here <clears throat> i can see a possibility of a tactic is there there that's the question <laughs> Like, I want to hop right now, but right now we lose Mr. Juicer, so that's a problem. If I go back, he might push it, which is not bad for me, but looks a bit bad. <coughs> oh, it's over. Bro, bro, bro. We just removed the knight. Bye bye, pony. No way he takes the pawn. He probably takes with the queen, and uh, nobody saves this guy. We can just chop it off. Or do we go here attacking the queen and the bishop? Even though the bishop is protected by the pony. Hmm. I don't see no tactics. So let's say we take. He takes. We go here fancying some double attack. Uh, bro goes back home for the sake. And we try to remove his defender by taking. So that works out in my mathematics. But for some reason I don't trust it. Because I feel like after takes, takes knight here, he might go somewhere like queen there to keep this guy protected. And uh, with double protection in his hand, I think he's fine. So we'll just keep it simple, right? Remove the knight, take the pawn, be two pawns up and uh, be fat. Fattiness is the way. I was kind of second guessing this because I thought he would go queen here and double attack. He did not. That's fine. Who just attacked us. Uh, we can just uh, go this way or this way. I guess both are fine as long as the knight lives. Mm. Okay, he took. No way take the pawn. Do not double them dubbies. Knight is the way. Mm -hmm. Solid business. Ooh, bishop is doing fine. Knight is doing fine. Queen is doing fine. Now time for the rook. Where do the rook belong? Rook belong on the open file. Free tempi, free tempi. Nice. We can take this guy, but it's just three for three. I don't get any extra candy, so no need. Uh, I want to get the queen out, but then this pawn might die. Can we just push it? Because he's kind of a lose, lose pawn, you know. That way, we kind of offer a juicer trade. And we go back to the principle of the more we trade, the happier I get. And also we have two pawns up, so we should trade. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Bro can't take this. We got this. Bro can't take this. We got double protection, so that's fine. Now we can do something like queen here or here. Connect them rooks. I like this more because we attack the pawn. But then the queen is no longer protected. I can go there. Fancing an attack, but... Uh, let's just keep it simple, you know. This was uh, there, but he could go knight here, knight here, attacking the queen in. It was not the way. One rook on the E, other rook on the D. Ideal setup for the rooks. E, D is the way, because everything else is just closed. Okay, the pawn does not die. That pawn was under pressure. I almost forgot. In some world, we're going to push this pawn and make it a fat queen. But for now, not. Yeah, this queen needs to be kicked. We need like knight somewhere. I can technically push. Mm, but we don't have this. The knight is there. I like to go there. Offer a good, good queen trade. But then this pawn might die. So that's also a problem. What are we doing? Pushing it. Because it just feels good, you know. Oh, I think that was pure garbage. Uh, a bit of reckless. <laughs> We need rook here, but we don't got it. He can go rook here and pressure this out. So I think it was a bit of a careless decision. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm regretting it. Even though we have knight here to save it, but the pawn was protected by the knight, man. It was kind of really happy and stable. We need this guy to protect it. Maybe should have moved the knight away. Okay, he didn't attack the pawn. That's good. He's looking for some knight here to counter attack. So I can push this way and just kick the queen away or go there offer a trade. Don't mind that because queen trade is the way for me. But this is good. It kind of gives space for the king. So no back rank businesses. Uh, but I feel like he'll just go back and stay happy there. That's a problem. Mm. Okay, so this is the way. This is the way. Offer a big, big patty queen trade. 
He might just go back and say, nope, no trading. Yeah, we're trying a bit uh, extra to get the queen. Yeah, he went uh, all the way there to look at this pawn, which is shaky. And if I push the pawn, the pony balls off. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Can we go knight here? Hoping for them tactics. Let's say he grabs the cookie. We hop the knight again. Ask him to take, take, and maybe this pawn becomes the queen. Yeah, it's a bit too fancy, not gonna lie. Mm. I do not want to go rook here to save the pawn. Because this pawn will fall off. But yeah, this last two moves were not the one for us. Definitely not the one. I like this. Even though we lose this pawn. I don't know. Do we get this? Like, really? It's the pawn on 7th heaven. Can he take the pawn? Probably not, right? We have some di discos. Mm. Yeah, it was a very shaky game, not gonna lie. So we sacrifice this, this, this. Three pawns sacrificed in one move. We cannot take there because knight here should be the disco. So that's good. I want to almost sacrifice the queen, give a check, move the king, sacrifice again and push. But that's a bit too much. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Just a tiny bit too much. It works if the king goes there. But the problem is after takes, takes, knight check, he can go there. And one side take, he can also sacrifice there. So a bit too much. Mm. So let's just focus. We can push the pawn right now, which I kind of like. Because knight takes, we can go some knight here, cheeky tactics. And uh, if he goes to the grabbing land, then we have some stuff. So he goes to the corner. And then we got them tactics. We don't got them tactics. Let's just check, take, take, and uh, hope for the best. Hmm. Yeah, this conversion is pure garbage, not gonna lie. This conversion is pure garbage and we are too slow. We've got uh, two minutes in the clock and we're not even winning. I think that was a bad idea. Got to take back because this pawn is a problem. Mm, he messed it up. Did he though? Not sure if he did. Because rook check, takes, takes, we get a queen, which is good. So the correct way for him would be to go king here and if i make a queen do the back rank yeah he saw it bro he's the tactical monster so we just got to give space to the king i guess uh because can't make a queen and check is also a disaster so let the king live and now we're threatening to make a queen check or check we just hide there and I think the pawn is through and we got one minute on the cuckoo clock. We got to pick up the pace, bro. We actually he just woke up or what? How are we so slow? How are we so slow, man? We, we need to pick up the pace. Uh, so check, we get out. Okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, we get a queen. So what is the way? Queen here is the way. But we got a check that gives a check. Uh, and I can trade the rookie out. And then uh, queen here into push. Is that the way? That is the way to make the queen. Check. Oh, he has perpetual. Oh, bro, got the perpetual. We got rigged. Oh, we got to go out. Got to risk it for them biscuits. Oh, the time pressure got to us. Where's the king going? Walk, king, walk. You got to do the cardio. Fairy king on the walk. Bro, I don't see a way, place where he can hide. That's the problem. Mm. Oh, I can't find it and we don't got the clock. Uh, where are we going with this man? Where are we going with this? Walk, Mr. King, walk. Is this the way to glory? Which is the way to glory? Where are we going, Mr. King? Trying to hide behind the pawns? That is the way. That is the way. We found the shelter. These pawns are my friends. We make new friends every day. 
Oh, that was a pure trash kind of a game. We make the queen. Oh, is this check from there? Bro, we gotta go. Bro, why are we so slow? Mm, we can't remove. Bro, the butter in the butterfinger is going crazy. We're gonna get flagged. Mm. We start off the night with a flag. If we trade the queens, we can probably pre-move the business out of it, but luckily he doesn't got a check. Oh, he got to take the queen. He got to take the queen. He resigned. Bro, resigned. Bro, that's crazy. I would have gone for the flag. So bro played this D for business. I took. Makes sense. Then he went for the gambit. Fish would like to take the pawn. Oh, D5 was suggested. I guess we adjust the fishy. Hmm. Now, after E5, I didn't know what to do. Takes is the way apparently. Oh, bro wants to take, takes and go some D4 business kicking the knight. Huh, interesting idea. We went uh, bishop B4 pinning the knight and he went bishop here. Again, D4 was suggested or what? No, knight C6, he's happy. Uh, he does something business, development, bishop G4 pin was there. We got the knight out, we focus on developing. Bishop here, not a problem. Castle is the way. Fishy likes castle. Castle pin is the way, right? Yeah, now I didn't know what was the way after h6. Bishop f3 was the way. Fish just says you pawn up and happy. I guess two pawns up and happiness is ours. And then we went a bit loose. Where should we go? a6. Oh, nice. Sorry, knight g6. Sorry, no, I mean like a6. Let the knight die or what? He took, we took, we were completely fine. He went somewhere. Uh, D4 was suggested apparently, but rookie it is natural. Not a problem. Again, D4 was suggested. We went D4. Uh, D3 was suggested, but we took out the bishop looking guy. Wait, queen? Wait, the fish is tripping. Yeah, it's suggesting queen D2. What is this? Uh, fishy tripping business. Queen D6 is the way. Not the best way, but it is the way. It's excellent. Okay, now we got the other rook into the play. And now we started to trip after this. Uh, A5, H6, A6. Yeah, just teeny steps, you know. H6 is always good. It just gives space to the king, which we had trouble. This was the time. Yeah, this was too reckless. Rook C3 was the way. Yeah, this was the way to attack, even though we could have defended it. Hmm. H6 was definitely the way, no? Apparently D2 works. Also, there's some knight he knight e4 hopping. Anyways, we go this way. And now he went queen here. And I could not figure out the tactics. D2 is suggested. I went knight here, which is uh shaky. He took the pawn and fishy wants to go h5. Mm. I mean we are winning, but I was so struggling. Knight check is probably a mistake. Right? Mistake? Inaccuracy? Plunder? Inaccuracy. He took, we took, and all he had to do, rook d8 is the way apparently. Huh. What was the, apparently after rook here, rook here and you can slowly squeeze it out. Both are about the same. He took, we took, and uh, he should have, yeah, he should have gone rook here to save it, but he munched on the pawn, and that was a big giga blunder with minus 8. But he only gives a question mark. Nice. Check. King here. And then what was the way? H6 was the way. H5 was the way. Which we did it. Nice. Queen here. Now we did some checking businesses. Into some Queen D5 was suggested. Oh, Queen D5 is so much better. We just set in a mate and it's over. Ah, basic business. Yeah, we panicked. We took the rookie and then we tried to take the cookie. Which we did not get. And now it was equal. Yeah. I saw the check, but I did not see this check. And we were stuck with the three fold, and this was just a draw. Then we tried to run with the king. Run, king, run, 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 run. And it's just all equal, but somehow we got this. And now he needed to be careful. This was the way, but somehow he needed a queen b4 to prevent the king here by king queen check. Something like that was needed. And the queen is was not the way, which allowed the king to get away. And we got a big, big queen. Surprisingly, here he resigned. The problem was, there was no check here, no check here, no check anywhere. And there's a mate here. So it's not like he can even move the queen. It's a mate. 
So the best move here is to take the queen. And I would say like 37 seconds. Yes. Black should be able to munch on all the pawns and win it. It's pre-movable. But resign was probably not the way. 